Hey there, you're looking for a quick list of some of the cons of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Well, we're gonna hit on those right after this. All right, everybody, welcome back. My name is Andrew Geiwitz. I'm a local real estate agent here in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. I love this city and I love talking about it and helping people get to know it better. So today, we're gonna talk about cons when it comes to Green Bay, Wisconsin. As always, there's more that could be shared than what I will share today, but these are the ones that come to mind for me as I think about Green Bay. Before I share though, Will you please like and subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell so that you can get updates when we release new content. Con number one, I've mentioned this one before in other videos that I can you know, link in here, but I think a con of Green Bay, Wisconsin has to be the bitterness of the winter. You know, a lot of people like snow. I, I don't mind snow, I enjoy it. I definitely prefer warmth, but I don't mind winter or snow. What I hate is when you walk outside and your eyeballs freeze or your car doesn't start because it's so bitterly cold that just normal life is hard to function. And that happens here. There are some times where, my goodness, it's hard to go outside and pump gas in your car or like the roof is collapsing because there's so much snow. And so I think that's just the extremeness of winter that's really a con for me when I think of Green Bay. All right, con number two, I gotta point this one out. I've looked at surveys and census data and things like that. And to me, as someone who values a lot of diversity and um, differences and uniqueness in the beauty of culture, there could be more diversity and more you know, culture brought to the community by having a more wide ranging variety or more substantial variety of different ethnicities and cultures represented here. Con number three of Green Bay, Wisconsin, to me, has always been just how spread out it is. There's not a lot of building up in this city, it's a lot of building out. And I think that's always been a challenge because I want to do things fast. And if you're anything like me, which the numbers tell me that people are more and more wanting instant, instant gratification, the drive across town is like, come on, I want to do this now. I don't want to do this in 30 minutes or whatever. And so that's a con for me is just how spread out things are. Or even if I have friends that live on the other side of town, it's like, man, I want to see you more. But it's, you know, it's not that easy just to shoot over there all the time with, a, you know, life and the things that go on. And so that spread out nature just kind of sucks. Lastly, con number four is the small town feel of Green Bay. It's so funny because I talk to people from, you know, coming from different places and some of them will tell me, oh my gosh, Green Bay is such a big city. Wow, like there's so much for me to do. And other people will be like, oh my gosh, like where did I just move? It's, it's so small, there's nothing for me to do. I think both of those things can exist in the same place. And that's why I pointed out as a pro and a con, I think it all depends on how we adjust and adapt and make the most of the place that we live, which is why I love Green Bay. It's why I'm invested in the community and wanting to learn and, and make the most of my time living here and I want you to do the same. So I point that out. There's a small town feel that might leave you just as frustrated as it does excited, depending on who you are. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video with four, count them four, Brett Favre, four cons of Green Bay, Wisconsin. If there's more that you think you know, stand out to you, make sure to mention those in the comments below. As always, please like and subscribe and hit the little bell so that you can get notified when we have more content come out. We'd love to get connected and share more about what's going on, so you wanna be able to follow along as those things come out. Make sure in the comment section to share anything that you, know, you want us to focus on in future videos. We'd love to know that as well, and we'll talk to you again soon.